Hello everybody, welcome to Hydraulic Master once again. Today I'd like to go through the components of a hydraulic valve. So here you can see the full system. Uh, this has got uh, six sections with of course levers and solenoids. And then here we've broken up the, the valve to show you the different components. So at the beginning here we've got the inflow section. I'm not going to pick these up because they're actually really heavy as you would expect. Then we have a bypass valve. This is an optional uh, extra that you would have maybe if you've got a, a crane and this would cut the oil flow if required. Uh, as you can see in, in the larger, the complete model here, this is not part of it, but we can be included if needed. Here you've got the regular single channel section. As you can see, we've got six of those in this example. And of course, we've got the end block. Now, we get lots of requests, people asking for a hydraulic system and not knowing exactly what they need. Please remember, we're always here to help you. But today, I'd like to give you an idea of the sort of questions that we ask and the information that we will need from you. So, what do we need? To start with, what type of machine do you have? Are you using it for maybe a combine harvester? Or is it maybe a marine machine or a crane? All sorts of different equipment this can be suitable for. Also, what region is the machine from? I mean, which region of the world? The reason this is important is because different regions use different types of threads on the ports, and we obviously want to provide the correct one to suit your hoses. In addition, what type of hydraulic pump do you have? Now, if you don't know this, again, please contact us. We will help you identify it. There's various ways we can do that which we're happy to work with you to identify the pump. Um, the main two types are a fixed or variable uh, pump, which of course displacement pump, which we need to, to identify with you. Then how many sections do you need? As I said, this one is six. You may need two or three or 12. You know, this can vary um, depending on your requirements. And we also need to know if they are one way or two way sections. The flow rate of each section, this is very important and it can vary from section to section. Uh, this will be in either litres per minute or gallons per minute, depending what part of the world you're in. And again, any doubts, we can help you identify this. There's also available uh, a standard single reset valve. Um, that can be uh, just a single one as you see here or it's possible to have one per each section. The, the standard is normally just one, as you see in the, in the example. And then of course, we need to know if you've got a 12 volt or a 24 volt system. Hopefully that's helpful for you. Of course, if you've got any other questions about this, about the ScanRECO RC400, which you can use to operate this system, or any other hydraulic components, please get in touch. You'll see the link below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much. See you again soon.